Okay, we're going to use um, our identities to solve another problem. So it says find the exact value of sine of alpha plus beta if sine of alpha is 3 fifths and alpha lies in quadrant 1 and sine of beta is 5 over 13 and beta lies in quadrant 2. So first of all, let's look at the identity for sine of alpha plus beta. So sine of alpha plus beta is going to be equal to sine of alpha cosine of beta plus cosine of alpha sine of beta. Okay, so right now we know that sine of alpha, this is 3 fifths, that whole thing, and sine of beta, the whole thing is 5 thirteenths. So what we don't know to plug in for is cosine of alpha and beta. Okay, so let's use the other piece of information that we have, we know things about alpha and beta. So I'm gonna draw x and y axis. So first let's look at alpha. So we're told alpha is in quadrant one. So if we draw a triangle in quadrant one um, and label alpha, then we know sine, which would be opposite over hypotenuse. So opposite over hypotenuse is 3 fifths. Now we would use the Pythagorean formula, Pythagorean theorem to find the other leg and if you work that out, it'll be four, okay? So now we know what cosine of alpha is because we can do adjacent over hypotenuse is four fifths. Okay, now we need to look at beta. So we're told beta is in the second quadrant. And we're told sine 5 over 13. Now if we do the Pythagorean theorem, we'll get that this leg is 12. Now since it's in the negative x direction, we need to make it negative 12. So here we're going to do adjacent over hypotenuse would be negative 12 over 13. So here for plugging everything in, we have 3 fifths times negative 12 over 13 plus um, 4 fifths times 5 over 13. So here we're going to get negative 36 over 65 plus 20 over 65. So this would be negative 16 over 65, and that would actually be our final answer. So we, we've solved that sine of alpha plus beta equals negative 16 over 65.